Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2. We're visiting with Dr. Aaron Katz. He is the author of Prostate Health, and we are getting information, very vital information about prostate health. Welcome, Dr. Katz. Thank you. Great to be here. One of the things that I'd like to ask you, the viewers I'm sure would like to know, is that sometimes traditional medicine recommends that a man have prostate surgery. Could you address that and also talk about some of the side effects? Sure. Um, many of the men in this country that are diagnosed with early stage prostate cancer uh, do undergo radical prostatectomy, which is defined as the removal, the complete removal of the prostate, the seminal vesicles, which are the glands underneath the prostate, and the nearby adjacent pelvic lymph nodes. This can be done openly with a knife, an open surgical approach, mm -hmm. or nowadays it could be done with a robot robotically or laparoscopically through very small skinny incisions. Okay. This is done uh, quite commonly in the United States by many urologists and there's probably over 100,000 performed yearly. There can be side effects from this operation. Um, because the nerves for the erection run very close to the prostate, there are men that can suffer from erectile dysfunction following the surgery, although some of the oral agents like Viagra, Cialis, mm -hmm. or Levitra can be helpful. Men also can experience some urinary difficulties, urinary incontinence, where men have to wear pads for a brief period of time, sometimes three months, six months, sometimes longer. Now, there are other treatments beyond surgery that men can choose from mm -hmm. uh, if they have early stage prostate cancer, such as radiation, mm -hmm. which is performed with an external beam where patients have to go every day for uh, five days a week for usually eight to nine weeks. Um, or they can have when internal seed pellets placed in their prostate, that's called brachytherapy, that's also radiation, mm -hmm. where radioactive seeds are placed throughout the prostate gland. And the other alternative is to have a freezing procedure of the prostate, which we commonly do at our institution at Columbia, called cryosurgery, where needles are placed in the area of the tumor and the tumor is frozen with an argon gas. I think that men need to understand that if they have surgery, that they're not going to be available to have, or not a candidate to have cryosurgery if their, if their surgery fails, if their PSA relapses. Mm -hmm. If they have radiation and their PSA relapses, they're not going to be able to have surgery because of the scarring from the radiation, uh -huh. but they could have cryosurgery. And if the PSA should come back after radiation and surgery, then men would be a candidate for the last route, which would be a systemic approach, which is known as hormone therapy or mm -hmm. hormonal ablation. That's another approach that we to typically use just for men with advanced prostate cancer, where the cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or bone. That's no longer an early stage disease. Mm. But if men have treatment for early stage, like surgery, radiation, or cryo, and they fail those treatments, they can be salvaged with the hormone therapy. All right, thank you, Dr. Katz, very much. Thank you.